Good morning, everyone. At least if you're on the East Coast, it's good morning. This is Tuesdays with Suzanne. And today, the title of our talk and our inner exploration is going to be When the Dawn Breaks. When the Dawn Breaks. Last week, we talked about when things are stressed, when you are so stressed out to the max and can't quite um, grasp where your ground is and how to refill and your tank is empty. And we talked about some really good resources for meeting times like that. And those practices, by the way, are things that we need to do again and again and again and again in order to have them fill the well of who you are at your oasis. So today, we're going to be speaking about when you've been through a tough time, the night has passed. You've been through a time where you couldn't find the light, where you struggled and struggled and struggled. I think that, honestly, I think in the Bible they talk about it. You know, I was raised on the front pew of that good Southern Baptist church. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death. Yea, though I walk through the darkness. I know the Hebrew tradition and we're coming into Passover this week. I know that the Islamic tradition, all the spiritual traditions talk about, talk about the times in life where everything feels heavy and dark. And, and, and they also speak about when the light arrives, when the dawn breaks. So as you're walking with whatever is challenging you in such a huge way, perhaps draining you. Take a moment, take a moment, and play with what we're about to do this morning. Because at the end of every night, there is a dawn. At the end of every deep problem, there is light. There is a solution. It isn't always clear initially. It may feel like you're right up against it, and then all of a sudden, you feel like you can see the dawn breaking. So we're going to talk about what that feels like in the body and how you can grow that from there when the dawn breaks into the next chapter of your life, whatever it is. I was uh, speaking with my inner circle yesterday in our monthly meeting, and one of my people was sharing that she has lost both her brother and her sister-in-law and that she is now the matriarch. Her parents are gone. They have left in the last decade, left the planet. And she's now standing in that place of, of loss and has been through times of honoring those people and is now recognizing that she's coming to a place where the dawn is breaking. She's stepping up into the matriarchal role in her family. And we did a whole inner exploration where we loved on and talked with and worked with the healing process for many of the people in the group. But particularly for her, it's a new chapter. It's a new chapter. And for any of us, any of us, when we have gone through very, very challenging, draining times, there will always be a dawn. It's the nature of the cycles of life. We're also now sitting in spring. And the buds are bursting through the cold mornings. There will be a dawn. Will you recognize it? And will you know how to step out into it, into the next chapter of your life? That's our question for today to hold as we drop inside. So getting the soles of your feet on the floor, allowing yourself to feel resourced and relaxed and supported by whatever you're sitting on. Your backbone, your sitting bones. Yeah. <sighs> and dropping into your breath, into your breath. Noticing, noticing what it feels like to breathe, to breathe. If you are here, listening and watching this particular Tuesdays with Suzanne. 
It means you're still breathing. It means, it means that you have the capacity to meet the dawn. So allow yourself to practice breathing through your nose and exhaling through your mouth in a nice, slowed down, calm way, if you would. Feeling, feeling the sensations of breathing. Feeling the rise and fall of your chest. Good. Being curious about, being open to discovering all of the sensations in this moment of settling deeper and deeper within your own system. As you breathe, feeling the rise and fall of your belly and what those sensations are like. Your sitting bones, your sitting bones. What's the felt sense of them resting on the chair? Yeah, and on down into your legs until your awareness, until your attention is resting the soles of your feet where they're connecting to the earth beneath you. And we know, we know that because of the field of the earth, the gravitational field of the earth, that our feet rest here with no effort on our part. In just the same way that we know that the dawn will come. And take a moment now and feel your connection down into the earth. So you were putting down roots or light beams or rivers of awareness, whatever works for you. Good. Good. Taking a deep breath. Let yourself exhale anything you no longer need. Yeah. Good. Good. Hmm. And then beginning to allow yourself to be open to receiving from the earth's field whatever would nourish and nurture you most in this moment, allowing it to soak in through your feet, whatever color, whatever texture, pulsing, humming, Whatever it is, whatever it feels, looks, senses like. And giving your feet permission to soak this nourishing flow of, of energy right all the way into your bone marrow, all the way out to your skin. Good. Good. And do this at a pace that works for you and in a manner that works for you. As you allow your awareness to travel into your ankles and your calves and your shins and letting this area of you fill and be nourished with whatever sensation would nourish you most in this moment. Yeah. Mm. Good. Mm. And into your knees. 
rounding the curve into your knees. Into your thighs. Again, remembering to let this flow of nourishing sensation soak all the way into your bone marrow, all the way out to your skin. Hmm. Yeah. Good. And as your legs fill, allowing this flow to move on into your spine, your sacrum, your pelvis, your belly, asking again, asking these areas of who you are, what would feel safest and most nourishing and nurturing here in my pelvic core, in my belly, in my spine? in the organs of my midsection, all the way up into your heart and your lungs. Good. Good. Hmm. And on up into your ribs, your upper back, your shoulders, down your arms, into your hands and fingers. Mm. Mm. On up into your throat, your neck, your face. What would feel most nourishing here? If you're nurturing yourself. We're slowing down time and nourishing ourselves. As your whole cranium fills, all the brain tissue, fluids, membranes, bones. And then allowing this flow of nourishing, nurturing sensation to move right on out the crown of your head, showering down around you and bathing, bathing your skin and the energy field that runs through it and around it so that you're connected to the earth beneath you, to the heavens above you, and to the environment around you. Yeah. As you breathe in the new day, Allow your awareness to drop back now into your heart. You may want to rest your hands on your heart. Breathe in, allowing it to leave. Breathing in, in inspiration. And it's funny how in our language we, we think of it as inspire and expire. Breathing in what would inspire you most as the dawn breaks. And expiring, letting go of what is no longer serving you. Breathing in what inspires you most as the dawn breaks. Expiring or letting go of whatever you no longer need. Inspiring, inhaling what you need in the coming dawn, in the coming day. It is a new day. (sighs) Letting go of what you no longer need. This is actually a photograph of our day 
as it dawned today, and you can see the sky is dark still. But the dawn has arrived. The dawn has arrived. And the new growth and the new life has arrived as well. Yes. Yes. Good. And take as long as you need, take as long as you need to continue to breathe in this way as the dawn arrives and you step in to your new day, whatever it is for you in this moment. 